Welcome back to the Wood and Metal Workshop. I'm Kent and we're gonna be starting on a new project here. Uh, like a lot of the guys on who do this kind of stuff on YouTube, I've always really wanted to try metal casting. And I've done a little bit of it in school, not a whole lot, and I've done some uh, little projects here and there without uh, just small stuff where I could take a cast iron pot and take the rosebud torch on the uh, oxyacetylene, melt down some uh, white metal or whatever it happens to be and do a quick little uh, cast of a part. Nothing really too big. Um, so the first step in that is I need a heat source. And after searching around YouTube a bunch and looking at a ton of different videos and elsewhere on the net, looking at what guys have built for heat sources, I decided that propane is my best bet. and just for ease of use. Uh, it really is. Uh, I've got a propane supplier not far from the shop, a couple miles away. I usually buy my propane in the 100 pound cylinders for out, for out here. So I've usually got one or two of them around completely full. So propane's a good, good bet for the amount of uh, metal melting that I'm going to be doing and uh, cost effectiveness for me. I don't want to mess around with waste oil or diesel fuel and a dual fuel burner. I've looked at a lot of those and just it isn't what I'm looking for. So after looking around I've uh, put together a selection of parts from several different videos uh, knowing the size of the uh, of, uh, furnace that I'm going to be building and uh, just how just for ease of ease of assembly ease of use having the parts around. Uh, I'm not going to start on the furnace itself today we're going to start on the burner and I've got my parts laid out here and I'm going to give you a shot of those, explain what we've got and what, uh, how they go together and we'll go ahead and uh, start making ourselves a propane torch. Alright, for parts we have two couplings, uh, inch and a quarter to one inch, inch and a half to one inch, got a 12 inch piece of one inch black pipe. You don't want to use galvanized pipe for this part because the galvanizing will burn off eventually and you know you get those fumes and stuff. Got a propane regulator, uh, adjustable one, full flow. You want a full flow regulator, you don't want uh, a restricted flow. Five feet of uh, propane hose. Four quarter 20 bolts is what I'm using. You can use whatever you happen to have or whatever you, whatever you want. Got uh, two nipples. A two inch and a close. A uh, plug that I drilled a hole in and tapped. All right guys, I'm not gonna measure this out. I'm just going to uh, guess at center. Got a uh, center drill in here so I can get a starting hole and then we need a number nine drill bit for the uh, tap side. to accept yep, O23 contact tip for a MIG welder. That screws right in there. Two flat washers, a coupler, and a quarter inch ball valve. And a sheet of uh, tin, or you can use the lid off of uh, like a tuna can or any other can if you happen to have it. I, of course, have sheets of metal laying around, so that's what we're gonna be using. This goes together pretty simply. We're gonna start with our couplings. Flare nozzle goes on one end, if I can get it to thread on, there we go. No need for any pipe sealant or, or Teflon tape or anything on this, there's no pressure behind it, it's just the gas nozzle. On the other end you get your inch and a quarter, and this one 
offset drilled. Uh, let's get a little closer here. On this one, we offset drilled four holes. One here, one here, one here, and one here, and tap them to accept our bolts. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Actually, I'm going to not screw that on yet. Makes it a little bit easier for, in a later step. Okay, so to put our nozzle together, we are going to start with some thread tape, Teflon tape, and I'm just going to wrap all our fittings here just to start with and make life a little bit easier down the road so we don't have to worry about it. When you're wrapping this, you want to wrap it in the direction you're going to tight, like you're tightening it, so the tape does not unwrap. And you want to make sure you don't overlap the end of your pipe, so you don't get anything, any breaking off and going in and clogging your orifice. You block up that gas jet, and you're not going to get anything. Two or three wraps is usually enough. When you're tightening this up, you want to make sure you don't get it so tight that you don't have any room between your washers. You're going to need enough room between these washers comfortably for your piece of uh, sheet metal, whatever you're using, to slide between. So I'm just keeping an eye on it as I tighten here.
might just go just a little bit more. That's good. And the last thing to go on is the gas hose. Okay, burner assembly is done. I found the easiest way to do this. Go ahead and hold it somehow vertically. In this case, I just use my drill press vise so hanging over the side of the table with the handle. Take your adjustment, flame adjustment or oxygen adjustment piece, slide that between your two washers. Yeah, between your two washers, Ken. Not. There we go. So that's how it slides between the washers. Take your nozzle. Set it in place, and then you can. Start tightening it up. You want to keep that as centered as possible. I like going around a few times, just getting it snugged up. There you go, now it's in the center. Screw your pipe on. For our test run, I'm just gonna hold it in the vise here. The valve works good. That's a little tight. Got uh, a few burrs here I'll have to sand off. I just went over to the brake and put a little bend in it. Give myself a little handle. And then I'm gonna wrap it in some hockey tape. Smooth it out a little bit. That anyway, way, protect us from the rough edges. All right, I'm gonna hook it up to the tank and uh... okay, guys, let's light it off and see how she works.
adjust the airflow. I think that'll melt some metal. guys the burner is done um, next step is to start on the furnace need a few more parts for that and that'll be coming up in a few weeks catch you in the next video